What is happening, YouTube? This is uh, Hatcherman13 bringing you a average free for all game for me. Uh, I haven't played a whole lot of free for all in the recent months, but all of a sudden it just struck my urge because I didn't have no friends on, and I decided, you know, might as well just roll with it. Done well in free for all in the past with uh, the Call of Duty Elite challenges. I played free for all for one of those. And uh, I don't know if you guys are having the same problem I am, but my elite's still busted. It, uh, it's not properly tracking, and uh, during the competitions and stuff that they have, I, it doesn't track me, I don't get any awards, and most of mine have been gold or silver up in there. I've been in touch with Activision, and the guy apparently thinks I'm a 12-year-old or something like that, because he sits there and asks me the stupidest freaking questions. Oh, are you playing during the correct uh, time schedule, and uh, are you playing in the correct game mode? No, I just I just been playing Call of Duty since game four, uh, since Call of Duty four. I'm sorry, and you know I can't do the conversion from Pacific to Central time. It's just something with that two hour swap. It it throws me off. I just can't tell time. Those circular clocks, man, they go round and around. It drives me insane. I can't read them. But yeah, it's asking me stupid questions, and uh, now he said he's forwarding uh, my problem up to uh, the actual like tech team and it takes them a while to answer yeah it was that, that was real nice too because then I got a the next reply I got was just a generic they dropped my name into it and it was a generic thing they said that uh, the not tracking on elite was a known glitch and that it was going to be repaired soon but as of today I still see no changes that was about two or three days ago that I got that message I, that's, oh, I'm just chapped about it, I guess, because <laughs> you pay for this service, and they don't even give you nothing for it, and my shit is busted. There's no point in me having it if it doesn't work. <laughs> I don't really care, the, the emblems are nothing. There's, uh, the people that get, like, the prize and stuff, they usually cheat, or they're all gung-ho about it, they go out and do that, I just pretty much play for fun. I don't really need a Call of Duty hat or anything like that. I got my own couple sports hats and shit I wear all the time. That's good enough for me. <laughs> this guy here, I don't know. He, he's he, All he had was a hand showing and I got the kill. That shit. Good for me. Bad for him, I guess. Here, uh, you, you can see I'm losing the kill streak. This is my second predator on this life. I think I started out this game and pretty much went 14-1. and one. And then I got a couple... I got taken out because I spawned in front of people and so on and so forth. And, uh, oh, my, my computer program is uh, cutting this up because it thinks I'm recording musical tracks. Well, that's nice of it. I'll have to see if I can combine those. <laughs> Using a uh, sonic stage to record because it's clear and the noise reduction and stuff like that is beautiful. Its voice comes out nice and perfect and it's just good. Uh, this is actually my first YouTube di video to date, and it is also my first submission to Machinima. Who, oh, I've been a big fan of Machinima, been watching them for years now. Just never had a PBR or anything, any reason to really upload. As you can see, that guy, he almost took me out. Um, and, uh, I, I got a question for you guys, because you're, you're about to see in a couple minutes this, uh, I don't know what you want to call him, but he decides it is a bright idea to start rocking the tack insertion out of nowhere. And I, to date, I really haven't noticed a reason that I'd ever need the tack insertion or want to use it. I, I mean, people usually rack it with their sniper class so they can stay up in their hiding spot and shit, but I, I find a claymore at the back to be much more effective or a bouncing Betty. But uh, this this game doesn't know, actually have like a whole lot of secluded sniping points that you can wall yourself off in. Usually you just run with the flow and keep moving traffic when I do snipe. A lot of the buildings have multiple entrances and stuff like that too, which is good if there's a camper. Is it is he the one? I don't know if it's if it's that CX Lab or Crown Flash. Uh, yeah, it's Crown Flash, I think here. Yeah, cause he threw that down, he ran up the stairs, and I killed him. I think I killed him once before that. Killed the same player, I think, but that's four or five times in a row. <laughs> it is tack insertions. And I, 
that doesn't seem like a very good spot for me to put it either. I'd put it somewhere where people actually wouldn't notice it. I mean, you're walking up on that one, you're gonna see the fucking red flare there. Put it in a dark spot of the map, too, so... Oh, this, that's supposed to be dark. How come there's a big red glow there? Uh, I have to wait till the end of the game to see if Crown Flash is actually a Christmas noob or not. It's about that season this year. Hope you all had a happy holidays. I'm just coming off of New Year's, still on a uh, vacation for today at least. Go back into work tomorrow. Boo. But, hey, you know what it is what it is. I don't mind work, it's not too bad. Yeah, another thing I have a problem with this game is uh, how many of the weapons are overpowered or they have just that indifference, I guess. Wow, that guy running the flash, he's actually the prestige dude, too. So you'd think he'd know better, but... Well, the video's about to end. This is about pretty much just me rolling up, waiting for my attack heli. Oh, yep, there it goes. Picks up the final kill. Yeah, for a solid uh, 30 and 8 KDR, a 3 to 1 ratio about. A little more than that. But y'all have a nice day, and uh, thanks for watching.